What's going on, JRD Nation? My name is Brain Epstein. We are the Jump Rope Dudes, and as always, we're here to help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. Now, today we're going to be doing a 10 minute beginner jump rope workout. Now, this workout is for beginners, but I want you to get results. So, we're not going to be doing a whole bunch of different jump rope tricks. We're going to keep it basic, but I do want you to bring your intensity so you get the most out of this workout. So, what we're going to be doing is incorporating the one pound cross rope. If you guys don't already have this rope, it's linked up in the description below. Click that link, enter, do the thing at checkout, you'll get 10% off. The reason why we're using a one pound rope is because the heavier ropes give you more feedback. So if you're a beginner, it's easier to feel the rope as you rotate it. So I'll show you really quickly before we start this workout. You see, we get a lot of feedback from a heavier rope. So we don't need as much skill to make sure we jump over it every time it comes. We can really feel it coming. Now, if you don't have a one pound rope, that's completely cool. What, use whatever jump rope you have. This is just the easier rope to get started with if you're a beginner, but don't let that hold you back. If you have a jump rope already and it's not this rope, use the one that you have. So throughout this workout, we're gonna be doing uh, 20 seconds of exercise alternated off with 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do this 20 times total. I told you, this is gonna be kind of an intense workout, but it is for beginners. And so it's for beginners because we're gonna be using the heavier rope and we're gonna be keeping it basic. So with the jump rope, we're just gonna be doing jump rope regular bounce and I'm gonna be coaching you through the proper form for each circuit. So we're gonna do a set of 20 seconds with the jump rope, doing the regular bounce, then we'll do a body weight exercise, then we'll come back to the jump rope again. We'll do that for 20 exercise total. So if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna hit my timer, we're gonna get into this. All right, here we go. The countdown starts. When we get started here, I'm gonna be talking you through proper jump rope form. Just get started with the regular bounce and do it with me. Here we go. So, the first thing I want you to focus on is taking tiny steps, tiny hops. So you don't need to take big jumps in the air. It's not necessary. Instead, take tiny little hops and just focus on using your wrist to flick the jump rope through the rotation. It's all on the wrist. All right, so we get a 10 second rest. Now we're gonna move to a body weight exercise. We're just gonna do some basic jumping jacks for the next 20 seconds. Keep our heart rate up. Here we go. So follow along with me. Really, this is a learning workout, the jump rope, but because I know when you're first getting started with jump rope, it can be frustrating when you're tripping up. We wanna incorporate these other body weight exercises so you at least burn some calories and fat while you're learning the jump rope. Pick up your jump rope once again. And again, we're gonna come back to the regular bounce. But this time, I want you to really focus on keep your hands stationary. A lot of people, when they start jumping rope, they wanna move their arms up and down and make it this grand movement. Instead, try to keep your arms against your body and keep them pretty stationary. You don't need to move your arms up and down. Just keep where they are and use the feedback of the rope. All right, another rest. All right, next exercise, we're gonna be doing some air squats. So just 20 seconds. Knees jutting out to the side slightly. Back straight. Very good. Stay strong, get some good reps here, nice and in control. Now jump rope is an amazing tool for burning a lot of calories in the least amount of time. It's very efficient, but we need workouts like this to build a foundation. So back to the jump rope regular bounce. Now this time, the next thing I wanna point out is your posture. As much as you can, try to keep that back straight, those shoulder blades pulled back and together. Just like that. Make sure my, my mic is picking me up. Mike, you picking me up? Mike's picking me up. All right, next exercise. We're gonna do 10 push ups. Do knee push ups if you need to. All right, very good. Good jump rope. Finish. 10 seconds to rest. And back to the skipping again. I'm gonna keep on pointing out different things every set. So 
So go ahead and start the jump up regular bounce. Now this time, I want you to really focus on being on the balls of your feet. So close to your toes, but in between the base of your foot and your toes. So you're just gonna look like you're jumping on your toes. And you just wanna stay up on the balls of your feet and take these tiny little hops. Very good, hopefully that made sense. All right, next body weight exercise we're gonna do is high knees, okay? We're bringing our knees up to waist level. And this is more work on explosiveness and burning a lot of calories. All right, 10 seconds, here we go. Try to bring your knees up to close, as close as you can to your waist. Very good, pick up the jump rope. Again, we're gonna do regular jump rope. Jump rope, regular bounce. Go ahead and begin. The next thing I wanna talk about here is looking at my back. Hopefully you can see my shoulder blades are pulled back together. My shoulders are being pulled down away from my ears. So I actually bring in my back muscles as I'm jumping around. It really becomes a full body exercise. All right, next exercise, let's go ahead and grab some butt kickers. It's gonna look like this. So we're just running in place and kicking our heels to our butt. Hopefully you got a nice, uh, strong rhythm going now, breathing heavy. So not only are you learning to jump rope, you're also getting a great workout. Back to the jump rope regular bounce. So let's see if we can bring a lot of this together now, right? Take a tiny hop, knees slightly bent, core tight, good posture, arms pushed into our sides, arms jutting out to the side, hands not moving much. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab some front lunges now, pushing up through our heels. Big steps forward, pushing up through our heels. Feel that glute fire as you push up. Very good, get the jump rope. Get the jump rope. All right, same routine. We're gonna keep it simple here. Jump rope, regular bounce. Go ahead on here. And so as much as you can, create symmetry between your both arms. Hopefully, looking head on here, I'm skipping the rope. My hands are parallel to one another, or at least close. You should be doing the same. Very good. Put your rope down. Shake it out, shake it out. Let's grab some jumping jacks again. Now the reason I didn't start you with a warm up because, is because when we're doing very low impact jump rope like we're doing right now and these types of exercises, these are actually exercises we usually incorporate in our warm up. So this workout in itself, although you may be feeling it, can also be used as a warm up once you get more advanced of course. All right, pick up the jump rope. And begin. So if you're starting to feel more comfortable with the jump rope form, see if you can speed things up a little bit. You're gonna do so by flicking your wrists. You're not using your arms, you're keeping your arms stationary. You're using your wrists to spin that rope faster, no matter what rope you have. Very good. So we're gonna go back again to the air squats. Knock these out during this 20 second period of exercise. Knees jutting out to the side slightly, back straight. Nice fluid motion. Slow it down if you need to. Form is always a key. You can add speed after you have good form. All right, back to the jump rope. 
go, get right into it. And whenever you trip over the rope, you know, just swing it back over, hop back into it again. It's not the end of the world, it's just part of the process. I personally still trip over the rope all the time, and uh, it ain't no thing, just keep going. Okie doke. Back to bodyweight exercise. Let's go ahead and grab 10 more push-ups, or knee push-ups if you need to. Rest here, grab your jump rope. Bring you back up. This is actually going to be our final jump rope set. So let's make it our best. Here we go. See if you can skip the rope as fast as you can this time around. To see me pick up the speed just means I'm flicking my wrist faster and taking faster little hops. You can go the faster you can hop and flick those wrists, the faster you can spin the rope. Right. Last exercise. Let's finish with some high knees. Final little burnout here. Finish strong. Three, two, one. Awesome job. So that was a quick little 10 minute beginner jump rope workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, hit the bell below this video so you never miss a future video because we sign up with notifications. You need to hit the bell if you want to know about future videos. All right, my name is Brandon Epstein. We're the Jump Rope Dudes. We appreciate your time and attention. We appreciate that you're doing the thing. We'll catch you on the next workout.